everyone should have two email addresses, especially if you send email newsletters. Okay, everyone should have a public email address and a private email address. And so the public email address is what you use to send your email newsletters, the from line when you send an email newsletter should be your public email address. So for example, for mine, it's contact at georgecow.com is my public and my public email address is the one that's on my contact page. It's listed wherever I need to list a public email address. And guess what? That email address is not an email account. It's just an email alias. It's just a forwarding address. I don't ever send privately. I mean, I send my email newsletters from contact at, um, but I don't, I can't send private email from contact at my private email address, which is an actual email account is my Gmail account, georgecow at gmail.com. And that's where if I send you email per personally or professionally, if you're a client, potential client, potential colleague, everyone, when they, when they get a private email from me comes from georgecow at gmail.com. And also, so, okay. The reason why I recommend this for everybody is because when people receive your, your email newsletters, some of them, like myself, will automatically filter your email newsletters into a promotions tab or a newsletter tab, and which I'll, I'll I, I actually happen to clear that once a day. But you know, sometimes people clear that once a week or once a month or whenever. You don't want that to happen when you send them a private email. You send them a private email, it shouldn't come from your public email address because you, they may, may very reasonably have created a mail rule for your newsletters. And so this is why a lot of people make the mistake of like, they just have one email address and they use it to send email newsletters and private email. Like it's crazy because then, you know, anyway. So the other reason, the other reason very important is that your public email address probably doesn't have good email deliverability compared to your private email address. Meaning even if people don't create a mail rule for your email newsletters, it's still the fact that your, the email softwares like Gmail and Hotmail, people still use that in AOL or whatever, they know which emails are being opened and which emails are being ignored. And for example, Gmail has a clear algorithm that'll say, hey, you know what? People don't open contact at georgecow.com. Even if you don't have a mail rule, we're still going to put that into the promotions folder or the updates folder, not in the primary folder, because we know a lot of people don't open it. You see what I mean? Versus everybody opens email from George Cow Gmail because whenever he, yeah, we just notice in our algorithm. So like email software has become more like algorithmic instead of, you know, everything, everything's becoming algorithmic, right? Because they, they want to try to help human beings sort information. So this is why, please, everybody stop sending newsletters using the same email as you send your personal email. That's crazy um, these days anyway. So uh, I hope this is helpful and any questions, comment below. Um, real quick, uh, I don't pay for email hosting. My forwarding address, contact at georgecow.com, my domain name, is just, you can get a forwarding address from your domain registrar. Um, I use Google domains, but oh. you know, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't pay for, I mean, I pay for Gmail, Google Drive hosting, but that's, that's a separate issue. But yeah, I don't recommend Google Workspace for, it's like, I'm like, I think people who need to send email from their at georgecow.com domain, I think that's silly. I mean, these days, who cares if you send it from Gmail or from even Hotmail or whatever? It's like, people don't care. I mean, I'm not professional enough without sending from at georgecow. It's like, that's silly. That's ridiculous. I've been doing sending professional email from gmail.com for 12 years and I have a very successful business. Nobody ever, I don't think anyone says, oh, you're not professional enough. Ridiculous. Just drop that, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna let you all, I think this is enough for this segment.